as the attendees all join in mishra ji yes sir so start kare sir okay sure good afternoon everyone and welcome to this amazing workshop which is going on for chartered accountants especially to polish your skills on the advanced excel uh, all the attendees were very thankful for you to join in and we are extremely sorry to start with little delay today uh, our today's faculty was ca abhay sir uh, but due to some family emergency at the end moment sir couldn't take the session and we are very thankful to ca jyoti malkani ma'am uh to kindly pitch in at the end moment and we're very thankful thank you so much jyoti ma'am for accepting the invitation to train our participants i think in today's time whether as a chartered accountant or as an intern student or somebody out of the profession the value of using excel has become extremely important even for something doing very basic things and i think uh, this is one of the best thing that you know ici wrc has planned up and all the participants i hope you are already having a great time learning you know these excellent skills uh, we also have ca sheetal sharma madam our coordinator you know for coordinating this workshop today thank you sheetal ma'am for being there and without taking much time let's start with the session i'm ca rudesh kankana regional council member from wrc mumbai very glad and welcome all of you over to you sheetal ma'am thank you uh, rudesh sir uh, we welcome ca jyoti malkani ma'am Uh, who, who will be taking us to this Excel session? She is a very ardent and very passionate speaker with a lot of lot of knowledge that she'll be sharing with us. I am sure this session will be a lot of takes aways and a very fruitful session for us to learn Excel. To do our basic work, we need Excel in day to day life. As CA chartered accountants, we do CMA in that we make our ITRs, we prepare everything in Excel. So Excel is a must. So, uh, without taking much time, I request Jyoti Madam to please take over. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, C. A. Radesh Pandey, uh, Radesh and C. A. Sheetal Sharma for the opportunity. It's always been a great teamwork at uh, W R C. So, I'm glad to take this session once again with all the participants. So, good afternoon, everyone. I hope I'm audible and visible. all right great thank you so you have received the files uh, for the participants all the participants have received the files for uh, the discussion today right can you just put a yes or no in the chat box for me also to get an acknowledgement quickly yes or no before i start all of you have received it right okay so there's a, yes received the files yeah you can put it in the q and a no problem uh all right great not some people are saying not received Mishra ji, people are saying chat is not dis uh, chat is disabled. Can we just check this, please? Okay. Acha, chat is uh, enabled, and I think some participants. Share the files once again. Yes, can we just tell Kapoor, ma'am, uh, to you know check if the files have not been received by some participants? If there's a WhatsApp group, yeah, but email, wapas, ma'am, ko kijiye na. Sir, pe dal diye sir. Acha, okay, okay, sure, thank you. Ah, okay, received via WhatsApp. So I guess there's a WhatsApp group where all of you might have received it. Please check it there. Okay. All right. So it's been sent on the WhatsApp group. So I guess you can just take it from there. all right so today we will be touching upon we'll be starting rather with uh, a lot of discussion on pivot tables pivot tables and pivot charts what according to you is the use of pivot tables? can i get answers in the chat box what you feel is the use of pivot tables
there are still disconnects coming with respect to the file can we just have it shared in the chat box here once again okay so sneha says summary of data summary of data we do use it on our day to day lives in our day to day working so whenever we talk about pivot tables and pivot charts it's important that we have a data in a structured format so yes all of you are saying it's a summary of data for detailed analysis and easy tool for doing subtotals for mis to get a structured data to find the cost profit etc of each center fantastic obviously we use uh the pivot tables for these purposes but before we start with you know working on pivot tables and getting a summarized data or an mis the first and foremost step is that our data should be in a structured format okay so we should have a structured format of a data just random data without headers and all may not work in case of a pivot table the second most important thing is that we must be clear as to what our output of that data is what is the output desired output from the data that we want when we are making pivot tables so all of these elements are very very important for pivot tables all right so let us look at how we can you know create pivot tables and how we can tabulate on pivot tables how we can uh, you know prepare them and work on them and even you know juggle around with different options under the pivot tables so let us first create a pivot table a normal pivot table all right so just open the sheet basic pivot tables raw data please all of you in the file excel file basic pivot tables open the sheet raw data okay there you see a in entire raw data what is sort of a data this is this has the region the customer name the product maybe color date quantity price sales amount cost and profit so basically it is giving you customer wise region wise product wise information of different colors on different dates which have been sold okay so different products have been sold and in each of the product you are having different color models okay so what we need to first simply do is we need to have a data in a structured format all of this data is having a header right as you can see on the uh, i'll share my screen also so so that you can parallelly run with me so i just missed to share my screen screen so this is the screen that i was talking about you can see that we are going to be working on basic pivot tables first and see how we can generate pivot tables from all of these here you see something which is called as a raw data a data which is there which has different regions customers products a color being one of the segregator so in order to find out any query or any question how we can do we simply use filters that is a very very simple and a basic way of getting the data that is through the filters so simply i can filter if i want to say for red color i will filter on red and i will see the different products in red color so let's say if i want for product number 11 red color different customers in different regions on different dates have purchased the quantity so this is the quantity price amount sales profitability so you can very well see Uh, Mishra ji, can you just share the participants' files, all the files, once again on the chat box to all the participants? Thank you. WhatsApp किया है मैंने WhatsApp किया है group में. 
Yeah, but they are continuously requesting to send it on the chat box. Is it possible to do that? Yeah, I have shared my screen. I hope my screen is visible to all now. Okay, thanks, Krupi. Uh, so let me see how it can be shared over here. Mishra ji, aap idhar share kar do na files. Many people are not there in the WhatsApp group and they are continuously discussing on the same thing. ज्योति मैडम ज्योति मैम मैडम आपको भी कपूर मैडम व्हाट्सएप किया है मैम मेल किया है ना ओके लेट मी ट्राई टू शेयर मेरे को शेयर राइट ओके आई शेयर विथ होस्ट एंड पैनलिस्ट एंड देन यू कैन शेयर इट फॉर आपको भी व्हाट्सएप किया है आपको मतलब आपको भी शेयर का इसके लिए ऑप्शन है व्हाट्सएप नहीं मेल किया है जस्ट फॉरवर्डिंग इट टू यू आई मीन शेयरिंग इट विथ यू uh you can share it with the participants just give me a moment ko host kiya aapko madam Yes, I've shared the file. Shared it with host and participant panelists, so you can share it further. Then I have shared the file. You can share it further. I have shared the file in the chat box. Nisha ji will share it further, so you can get it. I've shared an entire zip folder. Will. Okay. We wait for five minutes and start so that everyone gets the file and downloads it on their machine. Download the file that has been shared right now before we start.
Okay. Screen is blank. Yes, it is blank because I was off camera. I hope now all have received the files and there is no disconnect or debate on this part. Let's get started with our session now. Now, all right. So I'm sharing the file. The first, oh, uh, if you check the zip file, you need to open the file. Basic pivot tables one. Basic pivot tables. Please open that file and come to raw data. Come to the sheet raw data. There are a series of sheets. Okay. So a lot of information we have already explained and given in terms of pivot tables, how it works. But let's get started with the raw data. First, we will work on the raw data. As I told you that when we started, it's important that whenever we are working with pivot tables, we need to have the raw data in a structured format. If a raw data is scattered all over the place, then how do we do it? See, for example, you see this data on the setting up data sheet. Here you are having a sale of a certain model. Okay, it is given by the manager name, location, quarterly sales numbers have been given and there's a total column. That is fantastic. That is good. But there are spaces in between. As you can see, there are a lot of spaces in between data. So such sort of a data we call as a not sorted data. Not only that, if you go to see the model number, it is not aligned against each and every line item. It is just an MIS with a detail above. So this is a data which is not sorted. We need to have a data in a sorted format where we have rows and columns of information. Before we deep dive into pivot tables, your raw data should be sorted correctly. For that, what we need to do? For example, let, let's do with this data alone. So here what I will have to do, I will have to, if I have to prepare a good data out of this, I will also have a model number column here. I will have a model number column here. So I have a manager, the market, the quarterly numbers of a particular model and the total. Okay. So with this data, what I will have to do is if I'm talking about model 2500 CC, I will paste it here under model name. Market and manager will come on the other side as well. Okay. Now the manager is same for these three regions, the model I'll copy for these three regions and I'm just copy pasting the data. That's all that I'm doing right now. What I'm trying to show you is that sort of data that would work for a pivot table. So now this is a sorted data. Similarly, I will copy paste the other set of data just below it. So Kunal has these many regions. So I'll probably put Kunal against these names. Model is the same. And you have the data. So this is the first step. So similarly, I'll have to do it for all of them. So if I make a pivot table on this sort of a data, which has blanks and spaces, this is called as a non-aligned data. However, I need to have proper rows and columns defined, okay, in order to create pivot tables. That's the first step. So in this way, we will have to create the data for the entire process. And that is how you will be able to then work on pivot tables. If I simply start running a pivot table on this, just look at what happens. I'm selecting the entire data. I'm coming to insert pivot table. If I select the table range, it gives me an error because what does it say? A pivot table field is not valid. You must have data that is organized as a list with labeled columns. Do you get it? The organization of a data while creating pivot table has to be within the columns and with a particular label name that is a header. And only then can I work with pivot table. So that's the first thing. So in this way, this is label headers of the columns. And I'm having the entire data here. 
the next model, the next cities, the next manager, and the sales figure. In this way, formula you can have, that's not a problem. I can still continue to have a formula in the total. But the sorting of the data should be like this. So this is the raw data that we have sorted. As you can see in the raw data sheet, okay, as data has been sorted region-wise, customer-wise, product-wise. There's a color which is a differentiator. Maybe it's a sale of a product 11 with red color or maybe a product 4 with red color. There are different products with different colors that have been sold, just like cars could be. Okay, on the date of sale, the quantity, the price, sales amount, obviously quantity to price is sales the cost and the profit. So this is kind of a MIS with raw data. It is having a lot of information there. We need to summarize this data for which we are gonna make use of pivot table, all right? So how do we make use of pivot tables for a data? Any questions on data sorting that we talked about? Any questions on data sorting? Do we move to create pivot tables the correct way? Now, the re uh, all right, cool, thanks. So in order to figure out that, you know, a particular region, how, what are the sales for a particular region? What would we do? We would normally just come over here, create filters, the normal way that we could do it. One way of doing is data and you come to filters, you apply filters, okay? Simply you put filters and you can check Okay, region, which region do I want? I want to select North region. So for North region, then I will go here and I will say, okay, my total profit for North region, if I want to know, is nothing but the sum total, as I can see below, 1791573. Okay, so this is one way of doing it, but again, this is not an MIS. This is just reading data, right? So in order to create an MIS out of it, we will need pivot tables. That's the first objective, as most of you mentioned in the beginning as well, that it is for summarization of data. Now, again, over here in the North region, if I want to understand, I can again use a filter. I, I want to understand for product 10, what is the sales? Again, this is a summary. This is a summary of data, but again, this is raw data that I'm actually manually checking the totals of like 32,063 is the profit for uh, this, all right? So in this way, I can go on putting filters, applying filters and getting information, but that will not have a standard MIS view to things, okay? So in order to have a standard MIS view, of course, we can do a lot with pivot tables in terms of juggling what we want, the options and all, but to do that, we need to insert a pivot table. So in pivot tables, actually, you can easily go to insert, insert a pivot table and select. What do I have to select? You can see in the tab that's come forward, it is asking you for information. So what is the data that you want to analyze and do work upon? You have to select that entire range. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this entire range right from the region Okay, the start of my MIS to the end of my data. From the start of my data to the end of my data. I have selected this data source, the table range. Okay, then where do I want to place this report, this MIS? You can place it on the same sheet. You can place it in a new worksheet. So you have two options. You can place it on a new workbook or an existing workbook. So if I want to place it on a new sheet in the same workbook, so I'm creating a new worksheet on the same. So one additional sheet will get created. Just look at what happens if I select OK. So you get a new sheet that gets created, which gives me the pivot fields to create the pivot table. Okay, I did not, uh, so a couple of more options that I thought I'll share with you. Okay, uh, when we were creating, I'll just delete this, I'll do it again. Now I went to insert pivot tables. I will create, I will select the entire data range.
Now you can see there's another option here, use external data source. Is the data that I want to take in a pivot table from an external source, then I can select this as an option. Then it will ask me, where do you want to pick up the data from? And that's where I go to choose connections and I connect the other file to this. But that's not the case in this example. It's a table in a work, in a, uh, a worksheet in a workbook that I have to make use of in the same workbook, right? So now I'm going to place it into the existing sheet alone. That means wherever I have placed my cursor, as you can see, my cursor is placed on M3. So that is the row that gets selected as the location to generate the pivot tables if it is on the existing worksheet. So let me take it on the existing worksheet to explain it a little more clear. Now choose whether you want to analyze multiple tables. Now this is one data table that, I, this is this data that you can see from column A to column J is one table. If I want to make use of multiple tables, then I need to check this as an option. But in this example, I'm not doing that for now. So I'm just making a simple sheet, a uh, simple pivot table with the given data. And therefore I'm going to select the existing workbook. This is where it will get placed. So I click on okay. So you can see the, all the pivot options with the table has come right here. All right, now, what is it that, how do I want to prepare the MIS? I want to prepare it region-wise, customer-wise, product-wise. I have the different options of all the headers that are coming forward. So all these headers, okay. Um, region, customer, all these column headers become my feasibility to select. I can place them in the rows or in the columns. So let me say I want a region-wise profitability report. Okay, so I'll select the region. In rows, it will show the rows. All right. Now. What I want region wise, I want the profit region wise. Okay. So let me select um, sales amount, cost, and profit. All right. So sales amount, cost, and profit. So you see by default, it selects the sum function. There are various values which you can add to do with the value setting. For now, let me just take the sum function because I'm just taking a sum total of all the sales. Now I have another option in the pivot table, which is filters. Let's say I want to have filters vis-a-vis -vis the product. So I can select product and I can drag and drop it under filters. I hope you all are seeing my screen on the right hand side. Whatever I'm doing is very, very important. That's what making my pivot tables run. Okay, so please pay attention to that part. So I have selected the filter to be the products. So let's say here, if I select a drop down, it has all the products and some sales of all the products. So I can have products as my, so if I just want to have the products of, let's say, the sub, so it will show me the details for that. So I have an option to even select filters. This is a very, very basic and a simple pivot table that I have created. Okay. There is nothing uh, very uh, difficult in this. Anybody has any questions on a simple pivot table of a sum? I have just created for value field settings to be sum. I will show you the rest, but for now you have an option of summary. What summary do you want? I want a total, so I have selected the option sum. And by default, uh, Excel selects sum. Other than that, you can go on selecting. I'll tell you how we can do that. So far, is everyone clear on how you can generate a simple pivot table? Has everyone, is everyone else also doing it with me? Yeah, I can also select products reason wise. I can select color against each product. I can have it as a column as well. 
so that's how we work on pivot table so far a basic pivot yeah values i am explaining the other values also uh, for now i'll explain you some and then i'll move to the other values so whenever i want now here i wanted the total value of east region north region south and west right for that reason what did i do i just dragged and dropped amount cost and profit now by default under the values whatever comes under the values uh, tab here in the value field is what gets fetched up in your data so my data is that what i have selected value of now since i want a sum total i'll go to value field settings okay and i will go to summarize value by and i will select sum just look at if i select count it will show me only the count i'm just changing one to share that with you now see it is showing the sales amount only in count for, for the simple reason i have selected this as count so value field settings help you determine what value you want to show in your mis in your pivot table so for now i want to show the sum total of sales so i have selected sales and i can select on okay okay so this is the importance of value field settings how we can select what we can select let me explain all the types also of value field settings then there is another amount uh, another element which is mentioned over here which we can see as uh, show value as you can show value as percentage of grand total also you can show value as a percentage of something also so there are two aspects to it summary value by and show value as let us understand both of these to prepare the mis so summary value by okay so summary value by you have all these functions it is there in this excel sheet that i have given it to you so let us understand one by one what does it do when i talk about sum which we just saw in this raw data we are creating just a simple sum this is creating a sum total for values in the same column can be show multiple options count sum etc for values in the same column you cannot show you will have to go on adding it you can only uh, so if i want to have this as sum and i want to have once again i will select the sales amount in one pivot i'll be able to show as value field settings as one only i cannot be having multiple values over here okay coming to show value as show value as uh, sorry sorry first we'll talk about uh, summary value the sum you can have sum which is nothing but the sum total the sum total of the function count is where i just want to count the number of uh, sales like count the number of sales entries count the number of Count the data. All right, so that's how it works. Average, average will show the average values. Let us look average. Once I click on the table, anywhere on the table, this tab come forward. Now I'm going to see at average. Okay, so let's take the sales amount value field settings average. Let's see what happens. This is the average sales. It automatically matches the average. So average will pick up the average. Sorry, I got some issues. Yes, yes. I know, I know. I got disconnected. I'm sorry for that. I'm continuing now. I 
I think the average was last that we saw coming to minimum and maximum value. Minimum value is the uh, maximum value will pick up the maximum value and minimum value will pick up the minimum value. Let us see how. Let's come back to the data that we have. And let me select value field settings, max. Okay. And there you go. The maximum value for each region stays up to this 90. Do you want to cross check? Yes. Let's do that. Region, East region. Sales amount, right? Maximum value, 90,792. Make sense? Yeah. So in this way, you can figure out the event. Screen is not visible. Is my screen not visible? Repeat. Can you confirm if screen is visible? Now, if screen is visible, then I'll re repeat what I've done. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that, uh, Darshan. Okay, I'll uh, repeat what I just discussed. Up to average, everyone is clear. Up to average, everyone is clear. Some, some and count, everyone is clear. Okay, when I have to select average, it means the average of values. Let me continue from average then in that case, okay? So when I want, I'm taking the same column. I'll just do it again. When I have to come to the values, I don't know your average. Select the arrow key, select value field settings, and average and click on OK. When I click on OK, see what happens later. This is nothing but the average of the reason in sales. So I can select average for all also. I can go to value field settings for the cost, make it average. Okay. Cost also became average. So in this way, I can make the fields average for me. I can make it for the value fields. My voice is not audible. There is a little bit of network issue here at my end. I am also out of my, uh, my work area. I am not at my work location. So there could be a little bit of uh, network issue. Now is it visible? Uh, I mean, now is it the voice? Okay, please tell me now, confirm is my voice audible? Is everything okay? Are you able to hear me now? Okay, fine. Now let me share the screen and start from minimum, maximum and the different value field settings. Okay. My screen is visible to all now. Okay, all right, all right, great. So now uh, I'm audible. 
Am I audible also properly? Okay. Okay. Coming to the value field settings, summarize value by. I hope everyone is clear with sum what I did. The sum and the count. Now is the body better. Is it audible now? Okay, I'll start from somewhere. Now am I audible? There is a little bit of network uh, bandwidth uh, problem at my end. Definitely, I know that uh, because I'm not at my work location. Um, but now, is it audible? Either the screen gets frozen or there now. Okay. So when I share the screen, it's not audible. Okay. Video is blurred. Video should not be blurred. That should not be the problem. But yeah, I mean, voice could be. I'll just log in again in a minute.
Okay, now uh, is the voice better? Madam, audio okay. Jati ma'am. Haan, nahi, wo thoda sa network issue hai where I actually am not at my work desk. Na bahar hoon kahi, so that's the reason there could be a connectivity issue. But now I've tried to change the other uh, dongle that I had. So now I think is the screen visible and everything okay? I have just switched over the connection. Okay, so screen is visible. Okay, fine. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so I've changed the connectivity. So hopefully this should be better now. Okay. All right, coming to our pivot table. So I will explain the value functions once again. We created a very, very basic, simple uh, uh, pivot table with the sales amount, cost and profit for each of the regions. This was the basic data that we created. Let us look at these different tabs now. What do you mean? What has to be coming in columns and in rows? Can I have the regions in rows and the value in column? Well, yes, the regions I can drag and drop here and values I can drag and drop here. So in this way, I can convert rows to columns as well. Okay, let's get back to our old data. Now, the values that you want the pivot table to fetch will come in this portion, which I have highlighted in yellow. So this is the value that it fetches. Now, what is the value that I presently want over there was a sum total. So for sum, what did I do? Value, go to value, value field settings. Okay, value field settings and select the summarize value field by sum. So that is why it was showing as sum. Let us look at the different options that we have. I can make it as a count. If I select as a count, all it will do is make everything in terms of the count of line items. It works as the function count A. So by selecting count, as you can see on the screen, the amount has changed to count. And here also the header says count of sales amount. Can I have count and value both together? I think one person had asked that uh, also. So what I need to do for that? I can drag and drop the same thing again. I can select value field setting and select on count. So you can see sum of sales, count of sales. You can use this information for a lot of data and the number of uh, entries that are there. That is nothing but count A. Okay, so count A and the sales amount. So sales amount and count both also I can have together. Okay, remove field. I'm just going to remove this field for now. Now let's look at the other function. Let us look at average. When I talk about average, how does it work? When I want to do an average calculation of a particular data, this field will automatically do, uh, calculate the average of that data. So select average, okay. You can see that the average of East region is 21,299 and it's actually getting into the basic fractions. But since I have selected the format as two digits, therefore it is showing only two digits. But if you see in the formula bar, it has the entire average that is there, all right? You want to check this as well. Uh, that was for which region we were seeing. East region, right? East region average sales amount. So I'm just simply by filter selecting East sales amount. I will select the entire row and you can see here 21,300. Can you see the average right at the bottom? In the bottom scroll bar, you will see 21,300 below the scroll bar, sorry. 21,300 is the average of East region. And that is precisely what we got in our answer. In fact, this is rounding it off. See here, 21,299.97, all right? So that way it is going to do a count, uh, average, okay? Now coming to the next value field, which is about maximum. Means the maximum value and the minimum value, which is the maximum value for that region and which is the minimum value. So if I select max, it will give me max value. If I select minimum, it will select minimum value. 
So let's see max. Okay, so max is coming as 90,792 for East region. You can very well see what is it uh, that I'm looking at. It is at the sales amount. The maximum sales amount for East region is 90,792. So simply region as East sales amount, which is the maximum amount, very clearly 90,792. So that's how you can even cross check whether the pivot table is giving you the correct information. So 90,792 is the maximum value for East region, which is precisely what we got in our answer by running the pivot table on max value. So this is where you have the max value. You, you can place your cursor anywhere on the, uh, on the pivot table. The tabulated, uh, you know, the options, field options will come on your right hand side. Okay, now coming to value field settings, minimum will give you the minimum value. Okay, same as max, minimum will give you minimum value. Product, if I select product, it is not having any value for now. Why does this happen? Why? Because this, it's not a value field. It's not a calculated field. Therefore, it's come as num. Okay, so in sales amount, there is no product out there. Let us look at what product does. The product of the value multiplies all the cells together. For example, if you have a data set which has cells with values 3, 4, 5, the product would be 60. How 60? It will multiply all the cells together and give you the value. Now, since we are dealing with a large number of data, and that is the reason why it is giving a num value because it is exceeding. Uh, I'll show you for price. I'll add in price also and show you for price because that is a value where we can work on that. So the data is large, so that's the reason why this is not picking up. Anyway, let's move to the next, which is count numbers. It will count the numbers. If I want to count the sales value, the numbers. So if I select count number, numbers, it will actually count the numbers. What is count nums does? It only counts the numerical cells. It is only counting the Okay, I'll do that after some time. I'll come back to that. Uh, meanwhile, let me just select on count. Uh, I'll have to reduce the data and do it. So I'll do that. First, let me complete the others. Then we'll come back to product where I can reduce and make a short data selection and show it to you. Count nums will only count the numerical cells. Okay. And the count num summary functions work the same as count. So whereas uh, you have count works as count A, your count nums will work as count function. Okay. And that's the reason why it was giving me a counted result of which is same as count A because in this data, it's all numeric. Okay. Coming to standard deviation. SDDEV is nothing but standard deviation, which will calculate the standard deviation for the product. So I have selected for the sales amount standard deviation. So it has computed the standard deviation for each of the regions under the sales amount. That is how, what is standard deviation? Standard deviation uh, of a population means a sample set of the entire population. So when you take a sample set, what is the standard deviation? That's how it will calculate. 
uh, standard STDVP. This is going to calculate the, where the population of all data to be summarized. So a standard deviation of a population where the population of all the data has to be summarized. So in this example, I guess we'll give the same result. This I told you it will give the same result. So that is what it is. Standard deviation of a particular population. This will work differently if the population varies on every single time. The next one we will move to is the variance, VAR. That is nothing but the variance of a particular sample subset. Similarly, variance, uh, variance P will be the variance of a population where the population of all data is summarized. In our example, in this particular set, it will be the same because the data doesn't have a separate population to be defined. So let us look at variance formula. So uh, this is VR, that is variance. We'll show the variance. As you can see, the variance of the sales amount. If I talk about variance in terms of uh, population, then also it will, uh, this will differ because it is of a certain set of population. So variance in terms of the entire data and variance in terms of each of the region. And that is where it is giving you different results because it's treating each region as a population. So that's how you do. Now coming to the product part, which uh, we wanted to see with a short set of data. Let me show you with a small set of data. If we select, if we delete this pivot table, all I can do is I'm simply deleting it, okay? I will just simply close this and I'll delete this pivot table, which will remove the pivot table from the screen. So basically I have eliminated it completely. Standard deviation of a particular population that will automatically calculate the standard deviation of that population. So once you select standard deviation for that column, I, which I selected for the sales amount, it is calculating the sales the standard deviation for the sales amount. That is what it is do, doing. And standard deviation population that is selecting for that particular region, what is the population? So that particular region by standard deviation. Whereas the earlier standard deviation, standard deviation over and above population vis a vis the total data. Okay, coming to selecting a small set of data and doing the product calculation. So insert pivot table, table range, and I'm just selecting, let's say, yeah, okay, 15 rows, 15 rows, and clicking and okay, I'm just taking a small set of data, not the entire data. Let's see, region wise, See, by default, it's coming as sum, which we want, quantity, price, and sales amount. Value field settings, product. Okay. There you go. I told you it'll work for a small set of population. So we have the product value. What does this product mean? The product means multiplying the values. That's the reason why I took a small set of data. Earlier, it was coming as sum because the values were very high. It were in thousands and multiplying in thousands will give you a very, very large number. That is why I selected a small set of data just to give you the multiple value. So that is what product function does. Product multiplication, yeah, so that's what it is. Okay, so that's, now you can see how it multiplies. So for North region, it is having a multiple of each and every record in the sales amount column that I've selected. Clear now on this part, on the product. Okay, so Arvind has a question. How does uh, say standard deviation help for analysis? So can you tell me what is standard deviation? First, tell me what exactly does standard deviation do? As I already explained, standard deviation is an estimate of standard deviation of the population where the sample of a subset of 
a standard deviation is the deviation of a data from average right so basically what a standard deviation in technical terms say that okay when i take a particular set of data what is the difference and what is deviating from the average of that data that is my standard deviation so this is unique this is different that's my standard deviation when i take standard deviation in a pivot table i would know exactly that yes in this region what is deviating what is different when i have to do a uh, differential analysis i want to figure out in each region if what is the standard deviation vis a vis the entire population of sales i would exactly know that which region is giving me a different output let's just do that in a minute uh i'm continuing on this small set of data only just for the sake of understanding uh sales amount value field settings standard deviation this is the standard deviation so let's just look at each of the region east the to the maximum is 90000 in east and the minimum is 140 all right so the average that we had calculated was something about uh, 19 20000 right so what is the deviating factor over here the midpoint what is the midpoint of this data somewhere between 13 and 14000 right and what is our answer well 1000 158 they have actually picked up the middle value Oh yeah, you are right. It's only fifteen rows, so that is why it has picked up the mid value of this. The total is around two lakh, right? So this is the sales amount. You are right, uh, Gauri. Absolutely right. Thank you for that. And the mid value of all this data, the deviation is twelve thousand four eighty, and that's what it has picked up. And that is the reason why it is not thirteen fourteen thousand, but twelve thousand four eighty out of this given data. so this is the data that it has fetched and out of that it has picked up 12480 to be the standard deviation because that happens to be the midpoint the maximum here is 29000 and the minimum is 980 so within this range the midpoint of standard deviation is 12480 that is how it has fetched up the data that's how you can make use of standard deviation to interpret the deviations of data the most commonly used functions are sum and count okay sum and count is what we very frequently use now coming to show value as what does the function show value as stand for when i talk about show value as where the results will depend upon what you want to summarize count average or whatever and then you come to show value as let me do an example <coughs> sorry sorry let's take quantity this time value field settings my summary by value is already summed so show value as has certain options what sum sum as a percentage of grand total percentage of column total percentage of row total percentage of something else that you want to customize with percentage of the parent total what do you want the sum as so you cannot take show value as in isolation but it is a subset of summarize value by if i take count so summarize first you are summarizing the data by count and the value that you want to show in count how it has to be no calculation as a percentage of grand total as a percentage of column total or what so it will take these percentages of count not of anything else so that's how the show value as says show value as is nothing but what value you want to show that is what it is asking you summarize means what summarize the data basis 
sum total, count, average, so on and so forth. So I summarize the data in terms of sum, count, average, and so and so. And in the sum, if I want to show a percentage of a certain thing, by default, it is no calculation. And that is where our uh, data is just showing a sum. So it's sum. And I click on OK. It will just show sum. That's what it is doing right now. This is nothing but a sum of East, sum of North, sum of South, and sum of West. That's how it is fetching up, right? This is simple sum. Now, if I want to show this as a percentage of something else, a sum as a percentage of something else. See here, by default, is no calculation, and that is why the simple sum value has come. But what I want to see on the screen, I want to see something else. I want to see it as a percentage of the grand total. So simply a percentage of the grand total and click OK. And there you go. The quantity column I have selected as a percentage of the total, which means East region has tw sold 21.09% out of the total sales quantity. This is the meaning. This is how we can read the data. Uh, on the other hand, okay. You see here the header did not change to anything else. It remains sum of quantity only. It is just the percentage that we got to see because out of the total quantity that was sold, East sold 21.09%. That's what it means. Why? Because we have asked the pivot table to show us the value as a percentage of total. I hope this show value as conceptually is clear to all before we proceed to see the different options. Show value as conceptually is clear to all. Then we will move into what we can do for the different types of options. All right, great, thanks. Okay. Now you can have the sum as well as the percentage value as also. How? Let me just do it with the quantity once again. So I'll drag and I'll drop the quantity against the quantity once again. Now, what do I do for this sum quantity? I do value field settings, show value as percentage of grand total and click on OK. You can now read the data in a completely different method. Just look at these two columns. If I show you these two columns, it says that 4291 units were totally sold. Okay, and each sold 905 units out of 4291, which means that each sold 21.09% of the total quantities sold. So you can have two columns like this also. So I have added, dragged and dropped once more quantity and had a uh, show value as percentage against it. So it shows me the quantity as well as the percentage of total. We can use this kind of a data for preparing dashboards and summary data. All right. So that's how we can make use of show value as. Okay. Mm, let's look at the different show value as settings here. So show value as one was percentage of grand total, which we just saw. Percentage of column total. So let's select this and see what happens. It is going to show the column total percentage. So if my column was regions then it would have shown me the total of the region but this time it is only the values so therefore it is not changed let me show you if the regions were in the column what change would have happened if regions would be here and value would be here okay and uh, if i select select this value field setting show value as percentage of column total and you can okay everything comes to 100 for the simple reason that your entire quantity is definitely 100 for each of the region for each of the region i'm talking about this to be the full region so it's picking up as 100 i hope that show column value is clear now i moved the rows to columns and i showed you a different uh, way of showing that once again see here the value is changing because either the column itself is of quantity only, quantity price sum. And region wise, I want the percentage. So again, grand total ka hi percentage it will pick up. Okay. Next, show value as of row total. Here you will see the change. Let's click on OK. See, it became 100% here. Why? 
because the row total is 100 this i'm talk this row talks of everything about east region only so obviously the quantity is 100% for east region i don't have any other parameter that i have selected maybe a manager and east region wise or product each region wise i have not selected east region totality 100% the sale quantity is 905 and therefore it's come as 100% okay show value as percentage of when i just select percentage of it gives me a lot of options these options which are disabled earlier get enabled and i can just switch over as to what i want to show off i want to show value as a percentage of uh, let's say color blue or let's say color silver so okay it will not pick up because the color option is not been picked up in the in the region wise if i pick up the color column also then it will show me the data make sense see here showing me silver color here there is no silver here there is no silver so no silver it is showing me what is the percentage of my silver sales out of the total sales in south so that is how you show value field settings or i can i can show you with something which is already there so let's say region only show value of as a percentage of south okay i'll just remove this color for the time being as a percentage of south means south is 100 and the rest regions are nothing but a percentage of south region okay so that's how you can use show uh, customization that's how you can do customization percentage of let's say region and south because that data is already there so you can select it with different options that are there on the left hand side and the right hand side so by selecting what you want so i want region wise which will be my base item means which will be the percentage item my base can be anything okay which of the regions will be my base that's how i can select see if i select east as the base then east becomes 100 and the rest becomes a percentage of 100 so that's how you can modify this percentage data coming to the next option show value as parent row total so it's definitely going to take this only as the parent row for the time being it takes the first row as the parent row value of the item divided by the parent row so by default it will select the uh, this can be used for in two row items so right now my two row items are for quantity so it will treat the quantity amount as the parent and it will give me a percentage of that show value as parent column total there is no parent column defined and therefore it's not picking up any value you need to define the parent column and then only do the designing uh, percentage of parent total simply everything is 100 each each individual these are the row labels which are treated as parents. So each row is 100 in itself. Okay. Difference from percentage of difference. Again, what is the difference from that you want to take it as? You want to take it as a difference from region of East. So whatever is the difference. So East will become zero and the quantity will change to other regions as whatever is the difference from east so definitely they are all negative so uh, and north is positive so north has made more sales than east that's why it is positive and the rest have come as negative so difference from the original value show value as uh, difference same thing you can have as, as a percentage difference also running total in which region do you what 
parameter do you want to have running total into sales amount, price or quantity? For now, let's just take the sales, uh, the price. Okay, so it won't show anything. Let's take it for running total into what? Some show value as running total in the region. Okay. So this is the total region wise that you get. How does running total in work? Running total in displays the value of successive items in base field as a running field. Now for this, your base field items should be very, very clearly mentioned. So that's how you can run. So your base field is nothing but your rows, these row labels, and it will pick up only from this base. Clear uh, pivot table. These are all self-explanatory. I want each one of you to try along with me right now. And obviously, I uh, the uh, you know the examples are given where you can work on data tables and get back as well. Now coming to the cost again for cost also you can have running total into cost. Obviously, since cost is not selected here, it is giving NA. Let us take something which is already there as the base field. So base field here is only region and not cost. Okay, so that's the reason why it is not showing over here. So base one is only region. So that's why I'm selecting the base field as region. And that gives me the data. This is what the base field is, region. Okay, show value as next, uh, sorry. Percentage will show the percentage of the running total. Rank smallest to largest, okay. So rank smallest to largest, it gave you a rank over here, which is the smallest and which is the largest value in quantity sold. Okay. So some uh, vice versa, largest to smallest, it will rank largest to smallest also in the same way. Okay, so largest was the North region with the highest quantity sold. So it's showing North as one. show value as basically what result you want to see that's what it can give index for that you want to you will have to index it to something and therefore index it to onto quantity this is creating an index onto quantity so it's showing that the index is one and this is your data so how does index quantity work basically index is going to be uh, uh, you know calculating the value using the formula value in the cell multiplied by grand total and grand total multiplied by the column grand total, row and column grand total. So basically you are going to be indexing this data, this pivot table data. What is the meaning is you have pivoted this, I mean, you have indexed this data onto the quantity being one, and then you have analyzed this data. So that is what it actually does, okay? Okay. So this is about summarize value by and show value as. Now again, in show value as, if you're going to value field settings, I say summarize as count and I show value as. It has a different set of information. Most of it is common, but what the resultant output will be will vary, okay? So for each and every function that we can, each and every value, sorry, value that you want to summarize the data for, it will have the show value as. So show value as summary also we can have. You can create these, uh, we've already pasted onto the screen the different kind of pivot tables that you can prepare from this given raw data. Okay, so you can have region-wise customer sales, grand total, and all of these. Let us look at how we can, what I created was just a region-wise right now for the purpose of explaining different functions. Let us now create those different, uh, uh, you know, tables along as uh, alongside that we look into and let us see how the presentation can vary using different uh, position so first and foremost let's create this table which is a customer wise region based table okay how will we create that i'm creating here only besides the uh, sorry i'll just select all and delete that removes my pivot table okay let me now show you one by one how we can create different value tables, show value as tables. 
so first i will create region wise customer table and i would request all of you also to do it alongside me coming to where i want the table in row number in, in cell number n3 uh, so i have placed my cursor on n3 insert pivot table table range i am selecting the entire data for now so just shift control and arrow key is what i have used to select this entire data you can even drag it with the mouse and take the entire data basically the entire table and location as i told you n3 is where i'm creating the table and i select on okay so far everyone has done it i wanted region wise customer wise data right now region is what i want in columns so i drag and drop under the columns heading in my pivot table field i will drag and drop regions in my uh, pivot table field and rows i will keep it as uh, customers customer numbers okay what value do i want what value do i want value that i have extracted is the sales amount okay so the sales amount is what i want so i will go to sales field and i will select the sales amount field and there you go it's come in the value column by default it is selecting some this is what i have created you can go out there and color it the way you want you can have a nice beautiful uh, box and you can even color it you can hide these first rows and you can these column labels and all now if i just want to see the different types of labels what has been created for customers for each and every region i can even select just region wise and do it so this is your first table that we have created all of you how to arrange the customer 1 to 15 serially okay yes i will tell you that how to how to arrange the customers 1 to 15 serially can you suggest how do you how would you create it as 1 to 15 serially something that i have done so that's filter to no filter to i'll have to select one by one exactly so so i select my data move customer 10 onwards to end one by one yes you can do that also so you select this and you drop it down you can do that also tell me some more some more ways which we can do try custom filter mm -hmm. sort won't work as one customer is word and not a number yes you are right any other option i'm just doing exactly what you all are telling me but there is an option yeah exactly so manual somebody said that's what you're going to be doing manually you need to drag and drop each of the customer 
So one, then two, you will take here and drag and drop two out to the below one, right? But that's not what we want to do. We, we are using Excel for simplifying our work. So definitely we want to use simplified ways of doing it. So yes, can you suggest what options are available to arrange this from customer one to 10? So somebody says flash filter. That's where the other uh, functions come in terms of analysis, okay? So this is the pivot table. This is what we have, okay? No, 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 you don't get into things of removing the name and all. Let's not complicate our work. Use simple functions. How you can uh, arrange this from one to 10, smallest, largest to smallest. First remove customer and put largest to smallest, okay. What other options? No, no, no. Again, that's manual. Think of uh, making it why using the filters, uh, why using the uh, options given here. Okay, if you want to use this, okay, uh, a lot of options that have come in. Okay, now let me give you a suggestion. Whenever you're working with any sort of um, data, okay, whenever you're working with, I'll just remove all this, uh, whatever I've done, okay, so I'll just remove all this. I've removed all the filters, okay. So row one to 16 of raw data is sorted. So we can use that criteria, okay. So basically see, when I have created a pivot table, it is definitely showing me the, it is just randomly picked up the result over here. All right, it has just randomly given me the customer name and the sum total region wise. But we want to sort our data. We want to create this data in the form of one to 15. Now, whenever you want to modify the region wise amount basis the customer, okay, this is an extracted data from the pivot table. Let me make, uh, let me explain this to you that this is the extract of the pivot table. This is an MIS that you can share, not the pivot table. Directly never pivot tables can be used to share information. So what you need to do is simply control C, and you will have to pay special values, okay? Onto a separate sheet, I will remove this information. I will highlight and bold the labels and I'll create this as customer name. That's what it is now doing. And now select the data and sort it the way you want it. Okay, how would you have sorted this data as one, two? Um, sorry as one to 50. So that's how you will actually, and then you use all the control F functions and all of that. So whenever, this is another thing in pivot table that the data that you select out here, 
you cannot directly be making changes over here and doing a presentation it has to be the mis has to be pay special values where you will go and make those rows 1 to 19 in the 1 to 16 or 15 whatever are the number of customers line by line so here now you can simply sort it by data And then how to start month with April instead of Jan? Where is that? Month April instead of Jan. How to start month with April instead of Jan? Means I didn't get this question. Okay, in any data, how do you want to instead of uh, with April instead of Jan? Okay, so by default, Jan will come ahead, right? You're right. So again, you will have to uh, Yes, I, I got it, I got it. So you will get from April to, uh, let's say you're taking a data extract from April to March and you want to have the data like that. But when you do a sort, it will automatically pick up Jan to be first. So it will pick up from Jan. That's what you're trying to say. But you cannot be using sort function over there. You will have to pick up the three months and manually paste it ahead. That is how you work on a data like that. So pivot tables, uh, sorting of this will not help you. The MIS has to be prepared like this. This is an extract, but you can, what you can do is the totaling and the breakup customer wise is very easily coming ahead in front of you. Now let us look at a percentage of grand total. Percentage of grand total, what is the data showing? So the grand total percentage, let's create this table now and have a look at that. Let's go back to our raw data where I have created customer wise uh, labels and let's continue to make it as a percentage wise data. So value as a percentage of grand total. So sales, I'll go to value field settings, show value as, it's a sum, so percentage of sum. So it's show value as percentage of grand total. So you see, you're getting the percentage of grand total in your data. And that is precisely what is coming over. Are all of you also trying with me? Percentage of grand total is, this is how you get a percentage of grand total. Okay. Uh, next, let's look at uh, percentage of row total. Percentage of row total. How you can create row total percentages in this Excel, in this pivot table. So same way, So Vidya Sagar is saying that the best way to sort it in pivot table itself as any change in the base data will refresh the table with a new series. Yes, you can do that, but that is not the way we will be sorting this data right now. Okay, so uh, that's where I did not continue further. So yes, you can just go and refresh it. It will, re but it will not uh, bring in the sorting in that fashion. Anyway, so uh, I was coming to the percentage of row total. So you can showcase this data as a percentage of row total as well. So again, you can select on the sales value field settings, show value as percentage of row total. Okay, and there you see every customer, if each customer is treated as 100%, in each of the region, this customer, what is the sales percentage that he has given? So in this way, you can interpret this data. So this is the uh, percentage of row total that we have shown for a region-wise sales, this table. Let's look at percentage of region east being the base field versus base item, where I have percentage of a particular region. And in this example, we are taking east to be the 100%. So in this data, again, go to value field settings, show value as, percentage of which region? East region. So re base field region, base item east. And there you go. Automatically your east becomes 100 which, because that's the base and your all the other regions are a percentage of the base for each and every customer. That is what we mean by percentage of region east. 
so you get this table now let us work on the extract which is customer wise color wise color wise what is the sales amount for each and every region customer wise color wise what is the amount for each and every region now there are two ways in which you can show this data will there be time off for other topics like dashboard driller slicer macro presume these are to be covered today i know but then how do we cover it i have no idea i'll try to cover maximum that i can because i cannot be just running through something and you get nothing out of it that doesn't work so at least let's go uh, step by step and complete what we can complete properly i'll try to cover the maximum that i can but i don't just want to hurry up and randomly tell you things which do not make sense so that's the reason why i'm going a little slow on each of the topics all right so uh, i'll try to cover uh, probably yeah i'll try to cover maximum everything that's there and uh, there are trial exercises that you could be working on so uh, pivot charts are also there pivot charts are also there and how you will actually be working on other uh, functions like slicer and uh, drill drill up drill down so i'll be sharing that as well they're all subsets of pivot table so don't worry on that now coming to the data extract uh, or color wise customer wise color wise how we can work on customer wise color wise so here again i'm going to be adding another field of color or if everyone is okay and we can figure that out then we can this this one way where you can add color. okay let me just make it first some value show as no calculation let me make it normal all right so this is one way in which you can present the data so the customer color wise for each region and the customer total sales comes up like this this is one way of showing the pivot table another way is that i do not put the color like this and i just add it as another column like so so customer wise color wise also i can get the data so e so i can show it as a row or as a column and this you can then present it in this format of an mis you can have customer color and the region so customer color and the region and this is the total you can also have customer in the filter and you can see for each and every customer what are the colors so if i just select blue if i can select color wise also i can select it as a filter also but for now i'll put customer color and region so in this way you get color wise also and then you can present it in whatever colorful format you want to prepare the whole idea of this data is see here in we have placed the total downwards whereas here in the pivot summary it is showing as the total is here so you can have it in this format this is all about data presentation what is important in pivot tables is that where you get the data source from how you extract the data to the best of our mis then you can prepare this mis this is how we can make use of the different mis similarly you can also have a percentage of parent row total now here we have tried to take the parent row row which is given to you as the total okay so let's look at show value as percentage of parent row and that is how you get this table of percentage so this is basics of pivot tables now moving on to other elements of pivot as well let us look at how we can i'll just 
change it to this. Okay, so if I have this kind of a data wherein the different options are given, how can we prepare charts, pivot charts and pivot tables also from this pivot tables? So again, you will go to insert option and you have different sorts of charts. You have to go to pivot charts over here and just say pivot chart and pivot table or pivot chart. Now, if I ask the pivot chart, it'll ask me what is the table range that I want. Again, I'll select my data and create the chart. So here I get a pivot table and a pivot chart. I can simply select region and uh, sales amount, maybe, maybe product, maybe sales amount. I can have regions in my legend series and my access. See here, now the names to rows and columns has changed to legend series and access category. So exactly you can identify what amount you, what value you want on your X axis and your Y axis. And that is how your data gets generated. So I have want to have product wise, region wise summary. So product wise, region wise, I can swap the two. I can have product on my columns and I can have region on my um, rows. So this way I can prepare. See automatically with the data, the chart also is getting prepared. If I want it the other way around, you can have region and product and the chart gets auto-populated, sorry. And the chart gets auto-populated. So in this way, you can create pivot charts. You can, you have a whole variety of formats you can go and use for any charts. I'm not getting more into detail. It's a choice. I can have different designs of my chart. Okay, I have selected a simple bar chart. You can select any other option also from the option of charts. Okay, now let us move to drill up and drill down option. Okay, which is also a part of our discussion today. So I'm just deleting this for now. Coming to my raw data, coming to the pivot table of my raw data. Analyze. What do I want to analyze? Customer or what? What field do I want to analyze? This is the active field that it will drill down. Let us make it a little more complex in terms of not just sales amount, but also adding the product. Okay, this is percentage. So I'll have amounts. Let me just change everything to amounts. Is my screen visible to all? Is my screen visible to all? 
नहीं मैडम स्क्रीन दिख रहा है सबको नहीं मैडम अभी आपने शेयर नहीं किया ना नहीं शेयर किया है इसलिए मैं पूछ रही हूँ नहीं शेयर हुआ है एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट ओह ओके सॉरी सॉरी अनशेयर हो गया सॉरी अबाउट दैट ओके Now is my screen visible? I have not done nothing. It's the same data. I'm just going to be coming to insert slicer. How you can use a slicer? Slicer. How now is the screen visible? Okay. Yeah. So we are talking about slicer. How will I insert a slicer in the um, you know uh, in the pivot table? So I'll select the option of slicer. so you come to pivot table tools analyze and we are looking into the analysis tools where you can you are, you are going to be using slicer so you will select on insert slicer okay and what do i want to slice out as what do i want to show separately as let's say i slice out or slice out on the customer click on okay so here you can see that the slice of the customer has come outside now how, how does this help okay here what you can do is you can select on the customer and you get the data only for that customer so this is an in depth analysis for customer 1 if i am selecting only customer 1 it is showing me the customer 1 blue uh, i'm just scrolling this down blue red silver white and the grand total for the customer so i can use a slicer for data analysis on the basis of customer so I, if i want to select for customer let's say 3 so it's going to show me all the data as a slicer only for customer 3 so this these are all tools which can help you analyze the uh, you know uh, the uh, data tables the information that is there on the data so basically just like a filter that you can apply here you are using a slicer now in slicer you have a multiple selection also that can be done so you can select like let's say for customer Two and three. Okay, so two and three. Yeah. Okay. How to insert slide slicer? I'm just for now removing the slicer and explaining again how we can. Uh, yes, yes, it is useful for making dashboards also. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. now i'm moving to the pivot table analysis okay so design may you can you, know, you can present your pivot table with different colors and designs okay that's something that you can explore on your own also you can have a report kind of a layout and all as well and analysis is what is important and crucial for us and in the interest of time i'm just get, going getting into what all we can do in terms of analysis inserting time insert slicer come to pivot tables analyze insert slicer insert slicer so just click on anywhere on the pivot table and come to insert slicer once i say insert slicer it asks me what slicer do i want to insert so i took an example of customer now i'm going to take an example of a product so i'll just select product to be my slicer means I, only for products i have various permutations and combinations which i can select and showcase so i'll select product as my slicer and click on okay so here i'll just place it over here i can have one more slicer uh i can select on the pre pivot table come to analyze insert slicer let's say customer and i'll select okay so there is one more slicer of customer so there is a product slicer i have selected and a customer slicer that i have selected whatever you can see as highlighted in blue is what is all selected i don't want to showcase for all slicer is basically for analysis so only product one customer two product one customer two customer 2 product 1 see the different colors that has come all right i have selected 2 and 3 customer 2 and 3 if i uncheck 3 uh, or if i select only 3 sorry i can mul select multiple also i can select 3 i can select 4 by uh, shift by the shift key i can select multiple okay so i have selected 4 and 5 in this example I'll use Shift key. I kept my cursor on four, Shift five. So I've selected four and five customer, and I have selected product as one only. Okay, product as one only. And you can see what is visible on the pivot table. 
so you are able to see that for customer 4 and for customer 5 what has been the total sales they have been present only in west and south region for product 1 so that is why only west and south have come and i can very well see that customer 4 has in south uh, region uh, purchased product done sales of product 1 of blue color and product 1 of silver color and product 1 of white color and this is the total sales amount of each of these regions in the same way customer number 5 so this is going to help you in analysis in helping you in understanding uh if i want to understand which region has done a particular sales in a particular manner and what are the customer base of that region only i can select that also as a slicer so i have right now only sliced out the product and customer to do analysis so whatever you slice out from the data table you can slice it out use permutations and combinations and do analysis that is basically the use of a slicer make sense clear everyone on slicer okay let's move to the next um misha ji can we have some more time or we are um short i mean actually we are already out of time but because of uh, the issues and all it's taken some time can we take some more time at least i can complete with the analysis part yes do we have the time for analysis do we have the time ma'am how much time will it take so if it's uh, 15 20 minutes then we can extend uh i'll try to take at least 15 20 minutes and i'll try to take 15 minutes more and i'll try to uh, complete but uh, i really doubt whether it's possible but i'll try to make use of mishra ji are you there to respond mishra ji can we take at least 15 minutes so that we can do some uh, some more analysis ma'am let let's take okay let's fine continue. thank you so much so yeah i mean right now what i have done is uh, this i just removed all the filters i'll just remove all the filters and come back to my complete data table okay this is my complete data table it is customer wise as you can see here it's customer wise sum of sales and i have the color option of different products in different regions okay so this is what my table looks like right now here you can see the small minus sign which you can add and you can you know you can uh, 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 group and ungroup these data okay so there is another group selection option that is all right sorry uh, if we were talking about insert timeline so insert timeline you can very well insert timeline also by selecting the date field in your data okay so here what i have done is i have added a month date wise because my data is talking about months so the date column is there if the date column is there obviously it can give me a monthly sales analysis as well so for analysis i have a timeline option which i can select and i can showcase my data in that as well i can do my timeline timeline analysis how can i do my timeline analysis timeline caption report connections if if it is having connections to any of the slicers so obviously it is connected to my raw data as you can see and i can actually showcase the timeline of my sales so every month i have done if i just want to select for quarters it will show me the timeline for the quarters just let me expand this a little more if i want to just see for quarter 1 what has been the sales for quarter 1 it shows me only the data for quarter 1 if i select only for quarter 3 it will show me only the data for quarter 3 now because i have selected all the products and all the customers in the slicer it is showing me for all if i select only uh, say product 1 and let's say customer 10 for quarter 3 so you see it is showing me for quarter 3 it is not showing me the total but only for quarter 3 for quarter 2 there is nothing in quarter 
quarter four. So you can select it quarter wise or I can select it month wise. Let's say I'm having month of June, no sales. Month of October, there is some sales. So this way you can use the timeline also as because there is a date column available here. Because the date is available here, you are capable of using uh, timeline to analyze your pivot table data. All right. What else was there? I can remove timeline, I can remove slicers, remove product, remove customer. This is all basically for your data analysis. I'm just selecting all and bringing back my custom uh, entire data. Yeah, timeline option, you come to pivot tables, analyze, uh, you saw insert slicer, besides that there is insert timeline. Okay. Okay. Is it Office 365? No, it is Excel. Okay. Now, in case I want to drill my data also, I can use the drill options. That is where I can make use of drill up and drill down if my data has. Basically what drill up and drill down, I'll just explain in nutshell how it's going to, yes. Uh, yes, Shrata, she's right. So for drill up, drill down, basically this kind of a grouping function that is there, that helps you to drill down the data to multiple layers, okay? So if I have to drill down a particular area or drill up a particular data, I can drill down into the basics of that data. So that is the way I can use drill up and drill down. Sorry. Just... All right. What are the other things that were to be? Let me just try to cover what is uh, more relevant to us. And uh... okay, worksheets to print options and customize reports. Dashboards, yeah, dashboards. So in a design, you need to go to report layout and you can have different types of report layouts and design your labeled reports. And that's what you create, that's how you create dashboards basically. You can use the report layout function and you can uh, uh, use your reports. I think uh, we will close it for now over here. Ma'am, is that okay? Because I have another meeting to start actually. Sheetal ma'am, uh, can we uh, close it for now because uh, I have another meeting to enter right now actually. I would love to continue but uh, time's up and I have another meeting to start. And I'm extremely sorry for that short uh, session but um, I don't want to just hurry up and give nothing in as a result. So I thought of giving the complete information, all right. Uh, Sheetal ma'am, are you there? Hello. Uh, yeah, ma'am, actually I have another meeting to join in, so we'll have to conclude the session for now. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, we deeply appreciate the valuable contribution given by you and the efforts to share your technical contribution to us. It is very evident that uh, it, this will indeed help us immensely and will go a long way to enhance the efficiency to use Excel, Ma'am. Thank you so much for taking over this at the last moment. Thank you so much, Ma'am.
thank you so much for the opportunity and really apologies to everyone that it was so short notice and actually uh, oh, i have i have lined up another meeting that today. this short notice and since i was not me. at my office place the the network bandwidth had so many complications in the beginning but then i tried to arrange something so i'm really sorry about those uh, hiccups uh, but uh, that is all thank you that, that is when nobody is so it's opportunity. proper thank you so much ma'am thank, thank you thank you